1st of February, after days of wind and storm and all sorts, and detecting down on this beach, we met with that for sunrise. Um, I'm down here early because yesterday, in the spot where I'm going to now, uh, on the hard pan, I got a few coins, uh, loads and loads of nails, so obviously the things have been washed in. So I want to come and have a look-see now before the next uh, high, high tide. I'm going to stop waffling on, uh, give you a quick whiz around here. Uh, and we'll get going. I'm going down there, just around that little corner. I'll show you the, the, the first find. So I said I'd show you the first find. I found a few nails and bits and pieces. I brought a magnet with to try and clear the holes because um, you often find uh, together with the object you're after, there's nails and bits and pieces of boat. So yeah, I found my first co coin already. Here we go. You can just make out the stag. Uh, and if you look down here where it came out, yeah, amongst the rocks, uh, there more or less where that green leaf is over there where I'm swinging now. But listen to this. There's more signals here, so I better get cracking before the tide chases me away. Right, I'm not going to show you every find unless it's a gold ring or a silver ring or an earring or a jewelry or something like that for now just let me get cracking there you have it i think neptune is telling me i've got to get them out of dodge so i'll do a wrap up once i get there to the safety of the stairs right so that's another fun morning held here at the beach that's at least starting to deliver some coins and other interesting bits and pieces okay i better get moving because as you can see it's uh molesting or gonna molest me shortly if i don't get out of here i'm gonna see if i can get a bit of a splashback hey it's splashing right up here there was a bit of splashback about two or three minutes ago so let's see if we hold on long enough we might get some a nice one to think that I often walk down there and detect down there okay look at this one coming here this is gonna be fun there was a, almost a splashback let's see now almost but not quite there's something over there we go did I get it? Probably not. Didn't get it properly. Okay, there. Look at that one. Yeah. Some nice swells running here. It was full moon spring high tide yesterday. Today's, oh, there was a bit of one. Today's is not much lower. So, you can see why it's storming in here at the rate of knots. Uh, I'm quite grateful that I got myself out of there and didn't want to get too greedy there. The only thing is, yesterday I was down there, in an hour or so I got nine coins, so I thought I'd see if I could get more today. So I think I got seven coins today and one flat button, plus one or two other bits and pieces. Right, there it's going quiet again. Okay, I'm going to throw out all the the gunk and the junk here on the step so that you can see all the mess that we've cleared off the beach and then I will do a, the coin wrap up a bit later there you go this was a visual find so was our standard what the cap look at all of this mess there's a bit of copper in here that that's useful Pegs. one of them two of them all sorts of rubbish, nails, 
everything so the beach is a safer place now right I'll show you the other good finds uh, once I've cleaned them up so here's a quick wrap up the eight coins found this morning uh, two punt coins uh, you can just just make out the stag if you use your imagination and you'll see them there two one penny coins old one penny big uh, hen and chickens they were called one penny coins you can basically especially with this very encrusted one you can see the back of the 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 hen's feathers the tail feathers there and the hen's body under there there would be the chickens I'll, I'll add a photo in here somewhere then uh, this is a 5b an old 5p look at the size comparison that's a new 10p so that the old 5p is substantially larger than the new 10p then the normal standard euro coins the two of them a euro and a 10 cent piece and then the the nice bits and pieces a bracelet kitty's bracelet copper brass the spoon which I showed you that somebody actually literally took a stainless steel spoon, cut it off and made a fishing spoon, fishing tackle. This brass ring, brass, it looks like a bearing boss. And then I only saw this after cleaning. Uh, that's quite a nice little copper, sorry, lead uh, find patched over the eye. And it looks to have a dagger in the mouth. Uh, I'm wondering if I shouldn't incorporate that somewhere along the line into uh, my logo. Anyway, that is uh, it for the day. Uh, those are my finds. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, as per always, stay safe. Stay free and be happy. And thanks for watching. Okay, as a quick addendum. There's the, the good coin that I have that I said I will include. There's what the pattern looks like. The hen and chickens. See there. But then these two that I picked up this morning. That's a pre... That's still got the old logo and the old uh, pre I air Before they put the uh, country name as air. It was... The full name of the uh, the Irish state, um, it and it had the the date that both sides nineteen and if you look closely there, that's nineteen thirty seven, and this one you can see the change and the full date on this side and that's a nineteen forty two, so these two coins have been lying there, uh, getting encrusted for however long. They were dropped in there and I think it's terrific to have been able to find these older Irish coins to preserve them before they disappear into the uh, the yonder Neptune's yonder nest of iniquity or den of whatever. All right, I'm talking a whole lot of porkies. Stay safe, stay free, be happy.